Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we review Jack Daniels' newest release, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Single Barrel Rye. We finally got it, ladies and gentlemen. Run that video. <music> All right then, folks, welcome back to another new and exciting episode of The Whiskey Cove, where we will be reviewing Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Single Barrel Rye. And I'm very excited for this whiskey. I think this is probably the most excited for whiskey I've kind of been all year for a bottle that I've been looking for for quite a while. Before we get into this, a little quick announcement about the 5,000 free subscriber giveaway. We'll be doing a live event where you can win one of these six bottles. Yes, we have announced all six bottles. There might be some videos still to come where I've only announced five, but we went ahead and announced the sixth bottle here. If you want to be into, in for a chance to win one of these six bottles for completely free, shipping will be paid for by us and everything, you need to do two things. You need to A, be a subscriber, and then secondly, you need to uh, go over to the Whiskey Cove's website, go over to the Shop All tab, and then submit your free giveaway. So why we've done it that way is just that everybody has one ticket then, and then we can find if anybody enters multiples. There are a few FAQs, so go and look at that down in the description below after today's video. So the six bottles are the Early Times Bottle in the Bond, Black Top, the Brown Form 1-1. One, one. Uh, Old Forester Barrel Strength, Single Barrel, an excellent choice if I don't say so. E.H. Taylor Small Batch, uh, Willet Four Year Rye, Weller 107 OWA, and then the last ball that we released was the Buffalo Trace Single Barrel there. So if you want to win one of these, be a subscriber, and then go and check out over in the Whiskey Hill to submit your ticket. So that was the six free bottles that you can win. Let's get these out of here, and then let's get on with today's video, because I have been waiting a long time for this bottle. I think we first talked a little bit about this bottle on uh, whiskeys to look out for. I think that might have been July, uh, where it kind of broke the internet a little bit and sent it into a frenzy. Uh, this got released in Colorado a month or two ago, but it's only a total wine. And I haven't seen it anywhere else, to be fair. But now I did get my hands on it from a tip off from Paige, who watches the channel. Uh, we were talking at a liquor store, I met you there. Uh, so thank you for the tip off, I really appreciate it. This is the ABV on this, is 64.5% ABV or 129 proof. So not over the 65%, but oh so close. The bottle itself is like exactly the same as the barrel proof bourbon or the barrel proof Tennessee whiskey bottles. Uh, the only difference is that kind of has green font uh, around the Jack Daniels here and at the bottom as opposed to strictly gold which is the one that is up there. Uh, the label or the, the film is just like a cheap plastic film that is on a lot of whiskey bottles today. Uh, but it's actually quite difficult to get off and uh, the next 15 minutes of this video will consist of me fighting this plastic seal. Of course, I'm kidding. How is the cork pop which are kind of all here to here? Pretty decent. Nothing to write home about, let's go again. Yeah, much better the second time. Uh, let's pour it into the glass here. So a little blurb on the back of the bottle here. From grain to barrel and straight to the bottle, our barrel-proof Jack Daniel single barrel rye is made for those who appreciate a pure taste experience. So I paid $100 for this bottle, $19.99, uh, which sounds like a lot of money because it is. However, when I bought this, uh, even though I've been looking for it for a while, MSRP is about $65, $70. I, I took the hit on that a little bit, but I was also able to get one of these at the same time. Uh, Old Forest, a single barrel, barrel proof, uh, coming in at 65.15%. Uh, or 130.3 uh, and I paid $90 for this. So I feel like that makes up for us because I feel like this is generally, you see a lot for like $100, $120. So I feel like the money I saved on this offset that a little bit. So I was okay to pay the $100 on this. However, we are talking about this today. And like I've said already, very anticipated. Uh, I've been anticipating this arrival of this whiskey for a long time. Hopefully it can live up to that anticipation. I guess we will wait and see. Uh, in the glass, it does look quite oily, which is what we always like to see. It's not as dark as I'd expect from a rye. It looks quite dark in the bottle there, but just in the glass, it's a little lighter. Maybe ma shades of mahogany, but not as dark as I was expecting there. And it is leaving, uh, it is leaving some whiskey up the sides. Uh, if you're a beer drinker, lacing is what they call that. But let's go in for a nose. Oh, Jack Daniel single barrel, barrel proof rye. Very cakey, uh, 
like a like a sponge cake to, to begin with. You have like the syrupy sweetness that you get with like uh, that, that you tend to get with a sponge cake, but then that vanilla is there too. And there's definitely some undertones, really nice woody undertones, a little musty, but not over the top. Kind of reminds me of some stuff from Old Barton, actually, uh, the 1792 range. And this is a Tennessee Ryan, that's bourbon, of course, but it kind of has some of those woody notes that that has. Definitely a little bit of spice there. Maybe a touch of mint, spearmint. But very approachable. And very sweet as well on the nose. There is a, a fruit, there's a definite note that I'm nosing here that I'm not quite able to nail down exactly what that is. Barrel char. Yeah, it's kind of like, I think it's just leaning more towards like an aniseedy type note. Licorice, yeah, aniseedy type note. I wouldn't call it licorice. Very approachable. And, and it's not really singing any of my nose hairs for 60, close to 65% ABV. Let's go in for a taste. Cheers. First impressions. As expected to a degree, a lot of sweetness. Uh, darker molassesy maple syrup barrel char sweetness right up the front but then that does transition to a lot more of a spicier palate there's definitely like a pepper pe like a delicate pepper on your nose and there is a bit of a kentucky hug with this which is expected given the abv all in all it's pretty well balanced for a rye i think that they've nailed the balance in this because you when you try a rye you expect it to be a little bit spicy, a little bit peppery. And that at this ABV, the heat was understandable, definitely there. Really nice sweetness. There's definitely some darker, like figgy, uh, dried fruit here as well. Let's go in for another taste to see if we can pick that up any, any more. It's just so sweet and so chewy on the palate. I'm just wor working it kind of around my mouth. But that spice does an excellent job but really cutting through uh, that sweetness and kind of bringing it back down a little bit. Excellent mouthfeel. And it's just, it's almost like two different mouthfeels. You have the oiliness and the chewiness and the sweetness uh, and the oak tannin, the barrel charness, if you like, of the front of the palate. And then that goes into more of a peppery, hot, stinging on the front of your tongue type finish to that there as well. Back end, the sweetness does come back a little bit. Hits you right almost inside the jawline there. Beautifully, like I said, a beautifully balanced rye whiskey. So, it would be interesting to see how this drinks after a couple of weeks of it being open. Because I think you could probably get a little bit more fruit. Because we've got some dried sultanas and raisins and figs. But I think that might brighten up a little bit. I was expecting a little bit maybe like more cherry from this. Just because I generally do from Jack Daniels products. But I wasn't getting that on this. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Just as a different experience than the bourbon I guess. Or the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. So what we like to do on this channel. A couple of things. We like to give this a value or rate it, a value for money. A being the best and F being the worst. And then we also like to give it a rate in our of zero through a hundred. So value for money, <clears throat> MSRP $70. Yes, I paid 99 for it, but the MSRP is about $70. So we will judge it on that. Barrel proof rye, single barrel with lots of flavor for $70 really hard to find something that's uh, in this category that's better than that because when you're thinking about that ABV proof level there's not really anything that is as heavy as this for that price point so I'm gonna give this uh, I'm gonna give this an A I think it's definitely deserving of the A category even will it for your rise which aren't as high ABV as this is you folks that really watch the channel know that I've been looking for this bottle of whiskey for a very long time and maybe I've uh, mentally built it up to be something that it might not be obviously these are single barrels so there'll be some differences between each uh, but i was hoping this might have been broken the 90 category uh, and i haven't done a review on the regular barrel proof tennessee whiskey offering uh, but i feel like i've drunk that a lot and i feel like that might just hit the 90s 
uh, but I feel like this just isn't as good. And I know this is a Ryan, and it's different. It's a good ride, it takes a lot of those ride boxes, but it just doesn't quite blow my socks off like some of the other whiskey that we've had this year. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this an 87 out of 100. And I, I kind of downplay it like that's a bad score. That's, that's a phenomenal score on the Whiskey Cove. 87 out of 100, it's a pretty top tier if you like. However, it just, it just didn't blow me, blow me away. It, it, it blew me away to a degree because I give it 87. But I was really hoping it would break the 90s. But it is what it is. Uh, even though it was quite well balanced, I was just hoping for a little bit more. So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please hit that like button. And I don't know why I'm so sad. 87 in out of 100. This is is uh, as good as bottom many, like uh, my top 5% bottles of whiskeys that I have in the Whiskey Cove. So I should definitely should be happy of that, but just didn't hit the 90s. Okay, so let's get this out of here. And hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you like what we do, subscribe to the channel as well. Don't forget to sign up for the subscriber lottery too, as we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time. Cheers.